cross that bridge when you come to it. I love this expression. This expression is so old that people don't even remember where it came from, but it makes a lot of sense. If there's a bridge 10 miles down the road and you're riding in a covered wagon and you're worried that you're not going to be able to get your wagon across the bridge, but you're 10 miles away, there's no sense worrying about whether you're going to be able to get your wagon across the bridge or not until you get to the bridge, right? Same is true in our businesses and in our lives. So many people, me included in the past, put off or don't make or are paralyzed from making a decision because we're worried about what might happen, what could happen in the future. Now, I'm not going to propose that you be stupid and not do things like have insurance or plan or have reserves and resources available for a rainy day or for things that might happen that are not predictable because those things are going to happen. Stuff is going to happen in our businesses and in our lives that we're going to have to deal with. But there's no sense worrying and fretting and doubting and fearing about them until they happen or until we're faced with the decision-making point of that situation happening. So many examples of that in my life where I've actually fretted myself into a really bad situation. I've worried myself, literally stressed myself to death. And you can do that by creating things and you can do, you can actually help to create bad things to happen in your life that you didn't do have to deal with, right? I could never have predicted that I was going to drop dead, but I did. And then I dealt with it when it happened. I didn't dwell on and think about, well, I might drop dead someday because most of us don't think about that. And the same is true in our businesses. We don't think that there's necessarily going to be a regulation change or a new competitor come into the situation. Now we can predict that the, the chances are that things like those are going to happen in our lifetime or in the lifetime of our business. But let me give you an example of, well, a couple of examples um, of, you know, doubting and worrying and how it just doesn't matter until you, until it happens to you or until the situation arises. In the state of Wisconsin, I used to be in the liquor business with my family and Wisconsin, we live in a border town and Wisconsin is open on Sunday and would sell liquor on Sunday. Minnesota did not back at the time. Now they do now, but that it was always a concern and a worry in that industry and in that group of people. Oh my God, what are we going to do if and when, if Minnesota opens and sells liquor on Sunday? Because that was a huge part of the liquor business. And people fretted and worried about it. And instead of running their businesses like they would anyway, they worried so much about that, that some of them actually went out of business. Well, that change happened like a year, maybe it was probably five years ago now for how, I don't remember, but People worried about it and went out of business when the change actually didn't occur for decades. It was decades. They could have run their whole business for the life of their business, been super successful, but instead they fretted and worried about that change happening and the change never even happened in their lifetime of their business. Or, you know, it just happened a, a little while ago in, in the time span of it being talked about. Um, there's a, a new bridge that went up in my area and it took 30 years to get past the environmentalists in order to put up this new bridge. But people talked about it and worried about it and stressed about it for decades, literally decades. So don't be, don't be naive. Don't be stupid. Don't not plan for your future, but don't think that you're going to see every step of the way from where you are now to where you want to be in your business because that paralyzes us. If we're afraid of something, fear paralyzes us. It freezes us in our tracks. Um, it causes us to not take any action. And the only way we're ever gonna get where we wanna go is if we actually take that first step. We're not gonna see every step of the way to where we wanna go. If you're driving somewhere, your GPS system only tells you the next turn when you get to it, right? It doesn't talk to you every second of the way and tell you every second of the way what you're doing. It drives us nuts as it is, but if it did that, it would really drive us nuts. But right before you get to the turn, right before you get to the bridge, right before you get to the intersection, right before you get to the on-ramp, your GPS notifies you and you follow its directions. Same with crossing the bridge, worrying about the future. We we can't see every step of the way, but we still take the next step to get us there. We take the right turn because she gave us that direction, knowing that when we get to the next 
place that we may need to make a decision, she'll give us that direction too. And our, our lives will show us that as well. Whatever our path is will be shown to us when we need to, it to be shown to us. Um, I just, I love this because so often we worry about things that we can't control and that actually never happen. We worry about getting fired from our jobs and it doesn't happen. But if you worry about it enough, you can do stupid things to actually make it happen. We worry about um, and we fret over especially our kids, things that could happen to our those we love and care about. And a lot of us, our business is our baby. It, it is our kids. And so we fret and worry about that. So how do you not do that? Well, you take precautions and you take steps to ensure that things will be okay. And you 100% believe and know in your heart that whatever comes up, you have the ability to handle it and we'll deal with it because you will. If I'm, I'm, if I can do it, if I'm sitting here talking to you and I am proof that anything is possible, I am proof that anything's possible, then you can absolutely do it too. No matter what comes up in your life, I guarantee you will have the capacity to handle it. That's it. Go out, make it an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. You got this. Totally. Don't cross that bridge till you get to it. Bye.